Albie, g'day and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. How are you going? Not too bad, thank you. All right, mate, you got a 32 Ford. Yep. Uh, it's called the Black, I think. Black Shadow. Okay, tell me a little bit about this car, mate. All right, um, the Black Shadow was uh, a name that was uh, introduced way back in the 60s. Uh, I had a FJ uh, Holden, which was called the Black Shadow, and it had a um, Perspec bonnet. You used to be able to look through the bonnet into the uh, to the motor. Uh, that number one car started off a, a train of um, uh, cars that um, was a the FJ, a, um, a EH Holden station wagon, uh, Dodge Challenger, uh, Trans Am Firebird, and uh, then another 32 Ford, which was a fiberglass one. Uh, the series stopped then, and I sort of uh, built a lot of other cars in the meantime, but uh, my passion was always to have a 32 Ford steel roadster on the, on the road. I had one sitting in the back of the shed, which is um, an original car, Yeah. but, um, uh, one of those cars that um, get just ha happen to be put uh, pushed back all the time because of uh, other other uh, projects. Yeah, how long was it pushed back for? Forty-two years. Yeah, that's a long time for a project to be pushed yeah, back, no, though. Yes, yes. I um, in that time it had um, three different motors in it, and it um, it never hit the road. But it got to the stage of, of paint and um, and trim. Yep. Um, and um, in in America they started to uh, reproduce um, steel 32 Ford Roadsters. And the beauty of the, the new bodies were that they had a concealed convertible top yeah. and electric um, glass windows. And I, th in Melbourne weather, I thought this is the prime um, reason to, to update, uh, to have something that you go in, in any weather and not be caught without a, uh, a roof on the car. So, uh, regrettably, I, um, uh, I sold the, the, um, the steel, the original car and I uh, went um, and, and got this uh, new new body. Um, I haven't looked back since because um, it's it's a car that you can go out when it's sunny in the morning um, and as w we know in Melbourne it can rain in the afternoon. Uh, when the roof's up and the uh, windows are up uh, it's just like a, um, a normal sedan. Uh, the car is all fitted out uh, with uh, late model running gear. Uh, it's got a 94 uh, LT1 uh, Corvette motor in it with the four-speed um, uh, electronic transmission in it. And all the brakes are all uh, the latest um, uh, model Falcon and, and uh, Commodore. And it's set well, up. you got Ford and Commodore in there. Uh, sorry, Ford and Holden in, the, in one car. <laughs> yes, yeah, I've done that. Um, a lot of people don't like to mix them up, but um, I love the idea of uh, the, the 32 Ford Roadster, but um, I love a, a Corvette motor. Because um, okay. one of the other cars that I have is a um, an 88 Corvette convertible, yeah. and um, and having that, I always thought I'd, I'd like to have a Corvette motor in the uh, in the hot rod. And what's the size of the Corvette in the car? Uh, 350. 350, yeah. all right. Yeah. And you've actually um, put this car together yourself and painted it as well. Yeah, the car is totally um, built from the chassis up um, and right through the the paint work alone uh, took uh, from January through to um, to July of the um, uh, year before last. Um, the car was put into the um, uh, Melbourne Hot Rod Show um, two years ago, and uh, and it took off top roadster. Uh, well done. Uh, last year it uh, went in again, and uh, and took off a top um, roadster class again. So um, and I've been uh, all over. I've been I've taken it to uh, Sydney, and also to Queensland. Um, Queensland it, it did go up on a trailer, um, and but and Sydney as well. But it went up to uh, Maguire's to the major show up there. Oh yeah. But uh, the car is not just to sit in the shed. Uh, I've done uh, over 8,000 uh, kilometres in the car since um, uh, last year. Uh, so it's not a, um, a show pony. It just doesn't sit around and uh, get taken out for well, shows. Funny you mention that because that couldn't be true because today uh, we're here at uh, Rare Spares. It is an inclement day. It's a little bit of rain. Obviously, we can tell by the scarf. I'm wearing a jumper. So, uh, you know, credit to yourself because... Not only are you taking the car out on wet days and all the rest of it, but you've done some really intricate work. You haven't even talked about the chassis and the work no. you've done underneath the car. So, you know, obviously, you know, you like it, you drive it, which is fantastic. Oh, well, that's what they're made for. As far as I'm concerned, as the, the hair sort of shows, I'm at the age now where I've got to enjoy it. I think you and I are about the same age Because <laughs> <laughs> look at mine. Oh, I've, got to, I've got to try and enjoy it for the rest of my life. Um, yeah. and, uh, and that's why I built the car. I built the car to drive. Uh, not to sit, to sit home in the shed. Yeah. Um, and as I said before, the total underneath of the car is, is like the outside. Um, the chassis was um, uh, put on a rotisserie 
and I'd done the chassis uh, inside and out, and the chassis even to the stage of um, blocking and cutting down, uh, cutting and polishing the chassis inside and out. Uh, that's been done. The floor uh, was uh, also been uh, blocked and yep. uh, and cut and polished. So if you uh, could. Put, turn the car upside down now, you'd see it exactly the same as what it is on top. I'll be able to get a few blokes and see if we can do that. Yeah, that'd, <laughs> yeah, that'd be good, yeah. Well, I don't but, think uh, so. <laughs> yeah. But um, it doesn't only stop there, it, uh, it keeps going because the, all the castings on the, on the, on the car, like the, uh, the, the engine block, the transmission uh, casing, the diff uh, casing, all the, <coughs> all, excuse me, all the rough castings, um, I've buffed the whole lot of them down smooth. And, uh, and with uh, a coat of um, uh, gloss paint on the whole lot of it right through. So everything has been um, uh, rubbed down and, and, uh, and painted on the car right through. All right, so you must be very, very proud of the car. I've got to ask you a question, why have you gone to such uh, detail? Well, this is um, when I have a, a sign on the car, it's called Black Shadow Zero. Zero <laughs> means this is the last car. Um, and. I've, I used to be a show judge uh, for, oh, okay. for nearly 30 years, oh, right. so I've seen the best of the best yep. um, and I kept a lot of ideas up in the head and this is my last swan song so to speak. So I've put everything into this car the way that I want to build the car and the way that I'm happy with the car. Um, so that's it, um, I've gone through the whole car. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic, Albie, because uh, Bumper to Bumper is about people, power and passion. Yeah. doesn't matter if you've got a beautiful car like this or an unrestored car, yeah. but you can tell from your passion that you really, really love oh. cars. Yeah. And well, speaking all fair, and I know that you said you've brought in, you've just got a convertible yeah. uh, Dodge. Challenger. And uh, I asked you what colour you're going to paint that. Yeah, well, if anybody's listening to the show and they know me, they know that um, the car, any car, colour that comes out of my shed is black. And uh, I always get uh, niggled at people saying, when is the 44-gallon drum of black uh, paint going to run out? Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to stand here and say, like I said once before, about this being the last car, uh, the Dodge Challenger, the, the, uh, definitely the paint will run out at the yeah. Dodge Challenger. But the Challenger, again, it's, it's totally stripped down to a bare shell. Um, I didn't want it to be a rotisserie, but it's coming very close to it. But it, it definitely will be a driver as well, but it's a 71 Dodge Challenger convertible. Um, and it'll uh, it'll be black with um, uh, black top and, and uh, black interior. So um, I don't know whether it'll carry a black shadow name, Ooh. but um, anyway, we'll see what happens when that's finished. All right, Albie. Well, look, it's been fantastic uh, talk to you about your car and your new no uh, project. I wish you all the very best, and, and thanks for being on Bumper to Bumper. No worries. Thank you very much for the interview. Okay. Thank cheers. you. Bye. Bumper to bumper, we love them old cars.